It's Thursday, and what do we do every Thursday? We join in with our awesome friends for Fairy Garden Thursday. Oh my gosh, she does such wonderful, wonderful fairy gardens and makes wonderful displays. Go check her out. This is my second co-hostess, and she does an awesome job on her fairy gardens, tablescapes, and gardening also. Please go check her out. Anyone can join in any Thursday, anytime. And please leave me a comment on my channel, for I make sure to go look at your fairy gardens that you put together. And here is my third wonderful co-hostess growing on Vancouver Island, and she is doing a lot of lives now. If you love gardening, fairy gardens, go check this channel out. Now, let's go see what Grandma did today for Fairy Garden Thursday. And don't forget, it's an open collab. Anyone can join in anytime. Well, we're going to start over in this area. It's a total mess, as you can see. And we need to get in here and clean it up and make some fairy gardens. I'm going to try to do a fairy garden a day. We'll see if I can make it. It's not going to look still great with the first one done, but at least we're making a start. This container was given to me, so it was no cost for that. The plant was given to me by another friend, so there was no cost for that. I did pay for the potting soil, and that's the only expense that we have so far. And I'm going to put a few plants that I just purchased, and it's probably going to be about $6. So this is probably a $10 fairy garden. And you consider the plants, the potting mix, and everything else I've already had, all the fairy accessories I own and have. The pot I already had, a girlfriend gave it to me, and the plants for a gift also from another friend. So let's get busy and make ourselves a fairy garden. I'm not done, but we're just showing you where we're at right now. I put my moss or grass in the center and my little two plants on each end to give a lot of color and contrast. To make these plants stand a little straighter up, I had some artificial bouquets I had here that I really don't care about. And they're from Dollar Tree and I've had them for quite a few years. So to give a little more color and interest to the back of this container and straighten those plants up and give them support. I had these Dollar Tree um, mushrooms from two or three years ago, so I placed them in there. Now I'm gonna go get a few more things to put in here, but I thought I would share with you where we're at at the moment. And we'll do an update of this area pretty soon. And you're gonna be amazed at how pretty it's gonna look by the end of next week. Well, let's see if we can throw a few fairy accessories in here now. I'm thinking it's looking pretty good and pretty full. I see one one I think I want to move over. Let's move it and then we'll go back and shoot it again. Yeah, I like it a lot better. What do you think? I just moved this one over a little and it gave a lot more. It looked a lot better. I have six of them all together. This brings this uh, total this cost six up to $16. Um, I bought these back when these were at 99 cents at Dollar Tree. I know ever since everything keeps going up. I've had these for a while, but they've never been out in the garden. That's a good thing about when you start cleaning, you find all kinds of things you forgot you bought. And it just gives just the right amount of pink and purple in here. What do you think? And using the purple silk flowers in the back just gives a little tiny bit more color in here. Well, let's go see if I can find some little house or houses to put in here. Well, we moved things around again to make everything fit. I thought it did pretty good. And we had this cute little house I've had for a long time. So all the fairy accessories were not new. And everything we used in this little part of this arrangement did fine. This is a total of about $15 or $16 for the whole fairy little garden. Let me know what you thought. I think we're going to take everything out and do another little arrangement. And all we're going to do is change the fairy accessories and that's all. Now we're back where we started from. There is all these pretty little plants, but no accessories. Now let's see if we can make a little fairy garden fairies at play out in the garden. 
there's the fairies out in the garden playing. And this one is a free one because we've already used all the plants and accessories in past posts now. So now we have a free fairy garden, fairies at play in the garden. What do you think, my dear friends? Quick and easy. That's why I love doing fairy gardens. You can move them around, change them around, make them look totally different, even though you've used them all in past posts multiple times. It is expensive getting started. I'm not going to say it isn't. But once you get all your pieces purchased, you can reuse them for years to come. Most of the fairies you see here have been bought in the past few years. The only newer fairies, and they're not really new exactly, uh, these had been in some past posts, but they were bought this year. All and that little fairy back there, I think, was bought last year. And these fairies are from two or three years ago, and they're all staying in the garden. They don't go in boxes back in the house. There is a limit to how much I can store. So, what do you think? Didn't my fairy garden Thursday, two little fairy gardens turn out pretty nice? And one I spent 15 or $16 on, and this one I spent zero. We use it and reuse as much as possible as often. And we're gonna keep doing one of these little containers every single other day. And we'll probably put two or three different ways you can do it. But we can get our money's worth out of it. So let me know what you think. And this way, by next month, we'll have this area cleaned up and ready to really enjoy. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Thank you for all your kindness and support as always.